Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising monthly tarot reading for October 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to let you know guys that this is a, a general reading for Virgo star sign and this is not your personal reading, therefore I will explain the cards in their representative positions, I will make the synergy in between them, but it falls to you to um, make sense of them and to align them to your personal situations throughout the month. So that being said, if you want me to do that for you, well that is the subject of a personal reading and you can uh, purchase a personal reading from my website listed down below in the description of this video. There you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And one more thing, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your month specifically career and relationship, you can, um, <clears throat> for $1.49, you can purchase the extended monthly tarot reading in which we are focusing as, as, um, exactly on those couple of fields for the star signs life. In the month. That set aside, going to the tarot reading for the Virgo sign for the month of October. Five card spread. The first, the first card will be about the topic of the month or um, how Virgo will find themselves throughout the month. The second card is about the uh, best possible course of action or intentions that Virgo should have throughout the month. Third card is about the challenges that are causing predicaments to Virgo throughout the month. Fourth card is about the resources that Virgo can count on or what will help you throughout the month. And the last card here will be the final outcome or what will be the result of all that. So let's see what you do have here for the month theme. We do have the Eight of Pentacles. And into, into, uh, Eight of Pentacles, it's very slowly developing card. Now, as you can see here on the picture, the guy is doing money or the guy is making pentacles. And in the pen and pentacles in tarot are symbol of stability and security. So this is the topic of your uh, month here that you have to start building up your security and stability or in other words you have to start building up your comfort zone. Eight of Pentacles is um, <clears throat> is a card in which people uh, or the subjects of the reading or you Virgos should start executing a certain plan so should start working upon those plans that you have created thus far. Mentioning that career-wise this card it could, um, it could refer to uh, an a uh, initiation of a certain project that you have planned with your co-workers or with your bosses etc etc it could also refer to a, a very well um very well executed undertakings that are um that are thrown towards you into your career and uh, in more personal aspect of the Eight of Pentacles this card is building up your our social environment and if we are lonely if um, if we are feeling you know um, misunderstood etc etc this card asks you to be a little bit more open and to kind of like try to enter in a new circle of societies or Try to be more open to invite love in your in, in your world, especially if you are one who is seeking for love. Eight of Pentacles is a card pointing that this um, month uh, you should not leave anything unattended. Rather than you should first before uh, you jump toward the grand scheme of things or toward the grand achievement, you know, attend to the minor details before that, as they may turn out to be a, a very overwhelming predicament moving on forward with your month. The best possible intentions here we do have the High Priestess and the High Priestess in this specific case asks you to uh, be more quiet about what uh, what you think of doing and uh, you know what your intentions are in general. This card points that uh, as intention wise you should seek certain answers that are baffling you at this very moment to a, a very vague themes, topics, uh, relationships, you know projects as well but those answers that you may seek 
as the high priestess suggests, they cannot be found in the books, they cannot be found uh, throughout tarot readers, for example, or astrologers, or, or even throughout a, a, a therapist like psychotherapist, financial advisors, etc., etc. These answers can be found within yourself. I mean, you already know the answer, guys, but acknowledging it is a totally different subject. So this month, you will have to acknowledge those answers. This card asks you, especially if you're seeking for love here to open yourself for the one true love because the high priestess is the uh, the soul bondage especially talking about a, a love affairs so if you are finding yourself for example into a current relationship status these couple of cards are asking you to work your relationship out especially if your relationship is in a easy 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 is in a, a cornered position that, that these cards are encouraging you not to uh, give up on that relationship but truly work it out starting from the uh, small things there starting from the minor details working them out <clears throat> and then focusing on the grand scheme of things uh, for the relationship itself or the grand goal there either marriage having a child you know engagement etc etc buying a new home and uh, <clears throat> That way, you will be able to find a way through your uh, towards your partner's soul. And career-wise, these couple of cards are expressing um, one's ex one's skills to be exerted to a point when one cannot be uh, compromised by other people and uh, being infiltrated. So one can truly start initiating one's plans moving on forward. So this month is rather associated with being uh, more quiet than usual and uh, being focused upon the personal things more than being uh, involved into a uh, foreign agendas and foreign affairs. The uh, difficulties or the challenges that you may face throughout the month here that are causing predicaments we have three of pentacles and as we said that one needs to be focused more upon its personal things this card points that you will find it very challenging and difficult to face or to find support from other people or from other societies or even finding someone to understand you because the tree of pentacles involves very much a, a mutual conversations through which <clears throat> conversations you know a common ground is found so these three cards are asking you not to get into pointless wrangles not to get into conflicts as well which will turn out very uh, very and unproductive and as well futile but rather focus upon you know the um, the undertakings and the things that you can alter now what I what I like to say for these situations is that you should not concern yourself with what could be but you should concern yourself with what is right now and what you specifically you can do about it that being said you should not rely on anybody around you either um, partner into your relationship, partner into your career, etc, etc, to help you do something. Not that they won't help you, but at the end, all that will matter here with this card is what these cards is what you can create for yourself. And then the next card here is the resources that you can rely on. That will be the High Priestess Calmness, all right? And also comfort is what you can rely on as a resource, as something that is going to truly help you. So what we see here, Tree of Pentacles, these people that you may uh, involve yourself in wrangles with, they will not seek those wrangles. Rather, these wrangles could be provoked by you guys if you seek an unconditional support and unconditional understanding from others, as well as if you try to involve other people into your things. This month is a month of singular where you're going to find yourself very comfortable in your waters you know in your domain and your domain is exactly what should be worked out rather than try to expand your current domain into something different so these cards are saying us that there is still some uh, unexplored opportunities 
in your environment as well as um, some unpolished businesses that has to be polished at this very moment either into your career or in this very month either into your career and either into your relationship the empress also points that as a resource you can count on time you will have all the time in the world to make an important decision throughout the month that being said you should not feel yourself or priced to do it straight away when the ultimatum is given but rather you can detach yourself from the situation you know and think it thoroughly but again you should not kind of like uh, share with even faithful companions what you're thinking and how you want to decide as no one will be able to reach the right decision but yourself so you have to contemplate on your own in seclusion if you want to say it that way and at the end here what will be the result of all that we do have the ace of cups so we see that all your efforts here to build up your domain are now giving results with the ace of cups because and with the ace of cups because the ace of cups is the pure flow of uh, of happiness and emotional fulfillment many tarot readers says that this card is a pure love and if the question is you know will i go um, um, what will happen in my love life then yes this is what the card says but in general interpretation the card says the things that you are going to accomplish and the, the the undertakings that you're going to work with at the end of the month is going to create joy and happiness within you and on top of that are going to make the exterior and peripheral problems totally irrelevant to you just to give you an example um, let's say that you do uh, work uh, in, a in a standard job for salary but you also uh, are establishing here a private business you do have problems since your current job you know but you don't care about them because your private business is taking off at this particular month or you can see that it is taking off so your personal undertakings here are going to make the peripheral and obligated issues totally irrelevant for your greater and brighter future also the ace of cups points that at the end of the month whatever you are end up doing either into your career or either into your relationship will um kind of like will dapple your environment with happiness and with um with joy as well and nothing will seem the same guys when everything is looked throughout um overflowing joy and happiness so if right now as you're watching this reading you're feeling despondent you're feeling poignant about a certain situation into your relationship into your career probably this is because uh, the situation is something you cannot alter and instead of banging your head against the wall trying to alter something that cannot be altered by you this reading here suggests that you turn your attention into those things which you can alter and which you can work out right do so and at the end the result will be very pleasant for your being so that being said, Virgo, this was your monthly tarot reading for uh, October 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And again, I hope that you can make sense of it because, again, this is a, a general reading for Virgo star sign. This is not your personal reading. And I explained you the meanings of the cards. I explained their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to, to your personal situation. If you uh, want me to do that for you, well, that is the subject of a personal reading. And for a personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Right, signing out now. See you next time. Bye.